at 10, the Speaker of the Texas House accused of being drunk on the job, and tonight the Attorney General is calling on him to resign. ABC 13's Elisa Rivas joins us with the political scandal unfolding and why there's more involved than first thought, Elisa. We're going to explain all of this. There is a lot to unpack here, but let's begin with the video from the House floor late this past Friday night. We pulled this from the state's own website, so it has not been doctored. Listen to how House Speaker Dade Phelan appears to slur his speech. Mr. Campbell, send that amendment. The amendment is acceptable to the author. Is there objection to the opposite amendment? The chair has done it. Amendment is adopted. Phelan has yet to comment or explain why he seemed to be slurring. The video has been shared on social media for the past few days. And just this afternoon, Attorney General Ken Paxton tweeting a statement calling for Phelan's resignation, citing his, quote, apparent debilitating intoxication. Paxton has a host of his own legal battles he is dealing with, one of which involves a settlement with four whistleblowers Paxton fired after they reported him to law enforcement for alleged corruption. A few months ago, Paxton reached a $3.3 million settlement with those whistleblowers, but the House would have to approve it. Speaker Phelan previously calling that an inappropriate use of tax dollars. And here's where things get even more interesting tonight. Phelan's spokesperson revealing that the Texas House General Committee has been investigating Paxton since March, sending this letter ordering the agency to preserve evidence ahead of a public hearing tomorrow. Phelan and spokesperson saying, quote, the motives for and timing behind Paxton's statement today couldn't be more evident and that it, quote, amounts to little more than a last ditch effort to save face. As for Phelan, he told reporters today he has nothing to say about any of this. We'll be monitoring tomorrow's meeting. It starts at 8 a.m.